Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we have the ZMT10 from ZD Racing. It's a one tenth scale truck, it's completely brushless. Uh, brushless you see, brushless motor, proper servo, foam filled tyres, they feel like anyway. Oil suspension, and it keeps nice size. This is a big truck. So let me just show you under the bonnet. So it's got your typical clip on type top. And the only difference is this is have the metal washers on the top. Just put that to one side. So let me just actually show you this. So this is the shell, which I don't particularly like. It's not painted from the inside like most of these. I painted on the outside and just wrapped but it gets marked quite easily and it's very very flimsy. it feels like it could snap very easily in a crash but part of the hobby I guess so this is the inside of the car so you can see it has a brushless motor and brushless e fan cooled ESC disconnect on your battery and it comes with this battery with it and the battery you get with it is a 2400 milliamp hour 2S LiPo. So the strange thing is, if you can look how this battery mounts, to get the battery out, you have to unplug these from the battery. So this is a called a hard case battery, and these cables just plug in and out. And then this centre one should go in there. It's just popped out. That's your balance connector. But yeah, to get this in and out, you have to disconnect these. So you can see there's your servo. It does seem a decent servo, actually. It's got quite a bit of, it's quite smooth. As you can see, it's been used. It's not like brand spanking you out of the box. I have used this quite a bit recently. Uh, you'll see from the video coming up, I did a couple of speed tests, one on the grass and one on the tarmac. Unfortunately, the camera hasn't picked up the speed, but on the grass, it achieved 35 kilometers on on tarmac 37 so it's not the fastest thing in the world could probably benefit from a 3s battery which i believe you can put in which i'll probably do at some point but at least it's controllable at them speeds the tires seem decent they're nice and soft they've got plenty of grip the shock absorbers are adjustable obviously front and rear shock absorbers are adjustable and underneath it's got completely flat pan would be nice if it had some metal underneath but it hasn't it's just plastic this is the controller that comes with it it's a nice controller actually you've got your steering trim steering direction your throttle on here throttle trim, and you can reverse your throttle and your steering if you want to use this for another model but yeah it's decent enough it runs on I think it's four batteries what I've of. yeah four double A's which isn't too bad a lot of these run with six and eight so I prefer rechargeables, but get me money. So this cost me £98 on a flash sale. I think it still is that money now at the minute, which is decent for a 10 scale completely brushed truck. And it does drive well. But I don't know if I could recommend this to anybody, and that's because it cannot take impact at all. So this has a very slight impact to this wheel. The wheel took some impact there and the bottom arm completely snapped off. It just completely snapped off here. It's a very weak point there. There's a bracket underneath that holds this bottom arm on and it just snapped the center out. Now the only great thing is, and it bent, no it didn't bend anything this one, it didn't actually bend anything. Now the only great thing about that is you can buy the bits everywhere. You can get them in the UK if you want to buy it off eBay, if you want to wear a little bit Banggood, sell them. I bought some bottom arms from Banggood, I think it was three quid for a pair. And I've obviously replaced one and I've got another one now, should it go. But it was very, very, very minor. It really was minor. It just very slightest knock and it, it took it out. I think, with some other things, I think I did a review of some cheap £25 truck that I, one of the first ones I bought to have a play with. That thing gets abused to death and it's never broke anything. So it's a little bit worrying. And at this thing, I think it was £130, I wouldn't be paying 130 quid for it for the fact that it is made of cheese a little bit. I've also seen reviews on the ZD base, I think it's a Pirates, and that has a similar issue with things breaking dead easily on it. So, 
If you drive it sensibly, you're all right. But it's meant for bashing. You don't drive these things sensibly. <laughs> Half the fun's destroying them, smashing them about. So doing jumps and stuff, and this thing won't take a beating. And the other thing I don't like is I just really don't like this shell. I think it's very friendly. You could probably buy a shell for it. But as you can see from the video, it does drive nice enough. It's not horrible to drive. It's quite precise. The steering didn't require much trimming, and once you've trimmed it, it does hold its position. It just drives in a straight line when you want it to do. It corners well. But that's mainly due to the fact that its servo isn't too bad that's in there. So from a point of view of buying this just ready to run out of the box, yeah, it's great, but... I have noticed when I went on looking for parts of this, you can buy upgraded bits, but by the time you start upgrading stuff, you might have been better buying something else, so it's really, it's really your choice. I couldn't, it's not something I'm going to recommend to someone to say go out and buy, I just can't do that, but it's a bit of fun. You'll see from the drive that it's decent enough, but though, it's not really for me. So, thanks ever so much for watching. I'll leave you with the footage coming up at the end, I'm not going to leave a link on this because it's not something I recommend, so thanks very much and have a fantastic day.